Hello everyone, good day for all. Welcome back to another episode of Ayur Samveda, a smart way to Ayurveda. I am Dr. Kavya Vasudev and you are watching Study Ashtanga Hridaya series. Please subscribe to my channel and enable the bell button for continuous updates in Samhita. In the last video, we have discussed about the 14th chapter of Ashtanga Hridaya Sutra Sthana Dhuvita Upakramaniya Adhyaya and we have seen the two types of Upakramas that is Lankhana and Brimmana. If you have not watched those videos, please click the i button to access it. Moving with the details of Lankhana and Brimmana. The Brimmana indications that is those uh, people who are indicated for administration of Brimmana Karma. Brimmayed Vyadi Paishajya Madhya Sri Shoka Karshitan Bharo Dwara Kshadakshina Ruksha Durbala Vatalan Garbhini Sudhika Bala Vridha Grishme Aparan Api. So Brimmayed Vyadi Paishajya Madhya Sri Shoka Karshitan Bharo Dwara Kshadakshina Ruksha Durbala Vatalan Garbhini Sudhika Bala Vridhan Grishme Aparan Api. So the indication for Brahmana Karmas are Vyadhi Karshidan that is the persons who are emaciated by the diseases that is the person who has got debilitated or the person who has got emaciated or got weakened because of certain diseases such persons that is Vyadhi Karshidan Bhaishajya Karshitan that is because of their medicines or the therapies the persons will uh, become weakened. So such persons who have become emaciated or debilitated or weakened because of the therapies or the medicines such persons has to be gone for the Brahmana therapy. Madhya Karshidan that is the people who are being emaciated because of excessive alcohol consumption. Tri Karshitan that is the person who has become weak by excess sexual activity and Shoga Karshidan the person who is being emaciated because of excessive grief that is because of excessive sadness the per uh, person who has become weak or emaciated such persons has to be undergo uh, the Brahmana therapy that is uh, Vyathi Karshitan, Bhaishajya Karshitan, Madhya Karshitan, Stri Karshitan and Shoga Karshitan. And other people such as Bharo Dwara, that is the person who carries heavy loads very frequently. There are chances of getting so much of inch worries to such persons. So such persons need more uh, energy and he has to be uh, having uh, good physique and well built. So such persons has to uh, take the Brimana. And Kshatakshina, that is the person who is having uh, the chest injury, such people will be having uh, very um, debilitated or very weak. So such person has to uh, do the Brahmana. Then Ruksha, that is the, who has excess dryness. So excessive dryness is because of Vadavritti. And uh, in the last uh, session, it has been told that when Vadavritti is happening, we have to go for the Brahmana Karma. And Durbala, the person who is very debilitated. So Brahmana Karma helps in attaining the muscle or attaining the mass, bulk of the sh Sharira, Gurutva of the Sharira. So the person who is very debilitated or very weakened, such persons has to undergo the Brahmana karma and vatalan the person who is of uh, predominant of vada or excessive vada dosha aggravation is there such people has to undergo the brimana and garbhini that is again uh, the garbhini uh, that is the pregnant lady has to get more nourishment so she has to go the brimana karma then sutika the uh, lady who has just delivered uh, the child she is also in need of nourishment so she has to undergo the nourishment uh, that is brimana then bala that is the children and vrithan the aged people so these are the general uh, indications for the brahmana karma that is the aharas and viharas which help in gaining their weight or help in uh, getting the nutrition is considered as brahmana so these are the people who are indicated for the brahmana karma and other than these grish may aparan api so these are the indicated uh, people who has to undergo the brahmana karma other than this all the other people can also undergo the Brahmana Karma in Grishma Kala or in the Grishma Ritu because in Grishma Ritu the Bala of the people are very low generally because of the uh, Rukshata and because of the sun rays and all the Bala of the pe uh, people will be very much low or it will be very much
damage reduced so in order to gain the strength people has to undergo brahmana therapies in the grishma kala so all uh, the indications of this brahmana has been mentioned other than that all the people has to undergo the brahmana therapy during the grishma ritu Next is the Brahmana Dravya. By what all Dravyas we can do this Brahmana Karma is being explained. Mamsak Shira Sita Sarpur Madhura Snigdha Basti Pihi Swapna Shaya Sukha Bhyanga Snana Nirvruti Harshanaihi. Mamsa Shira Sita Sarpi Madhura Snigdha Basti Pihi Swapna Shaya Sukha Abhyanga Snana Nirvruti Harshanaihi. So these are the Dravyas by which we can attain the Brahmana. There is Mamsa, the meat of any animals or birds, Kshira, milk, Sita, sugar, that is all the Madhura Dravyas are uh, Brahmana and uh, Sarpi, that is Grita or Ghee, Madhura Snigdha, Bastipihi. So all the Madhura Snigdha Aharas and uh, drav all the Ahara Dravyas can be considered as Brahmana and especially Madhura Snigdha, Basti is considered to be uh, Brahmana Dravya, that is the Sneha Bastis or the Anuvasana Bastis are considered to be Brahmana. And Swapna, that is uh, sleep, coming to the Viharas, which help in uh, attaining the Brahmana, that is uh, sleep or Swapna. Shaya Sukha, that is uh, in a sedentary life or comfortable bed or comfortably sitting or uh, not doing much activity, physical activities, that is Shaya Sukha or uh, simply lying down. Then Abhyanga, oil massage, Snana, bath, Nirvruti, comforts and rest, that is not doing much physical activity. And Harshanehi, that is the happiness of mind. If uh, the person is not having much sorrows or worries, then he will be having the proper nourishment or proper brahmana will be there so these are the dravyas that is aharas and viharas by which we can attain the brahmana so these are the different types of brahmana dravyas through which we can attain the brahmana next is the indication for lankhana karma meha amadosha atisnigdha jvara urustamba urustamba kushtinaha visarpa vidradi pliha shira kantha akshi roginaha stolamsha lankhet nityam shishretu aparanapi so meha Amadosha, Atisnigdha, Jvara, Urustamba, Kushtinaha, Visarpa, Vidradi, Pliha, Shira, Kantha, Akshirokinaha, Stolamsha, Lenghayet, Nityam, Shishire, Tu, Aparan, Api. So the conditions in which we have to indicate Lenghana are Meha, that is diabetic conditions or especially the Prameha and different types of Mehas are there and one among is uh, Mathumeha which we correlate with the diabetes condition. So in general all the Mehas which is predominant of kapha and medo dushti so in meha conditions we can go for the lankhana chigilsa then ama dosha so ama uh, conditions and lakshanas already it has been mentioned in the previous chapters of ashtanga hridaya sutra sthana itself so in ama avastha the first line of management we have to do is the lankhana that is deepana and pajana has to be done later we have to confirm that it is nirama avastha then only we are advocating the shodhana karma so first in ama avastha we have to go for the lankhana karma then the person who are ati snigdha that is uh, when the person is more of uh, snigdha aharas and viharas are being taken he will be becoming ati snigdha so in such conditions we have to go for the lankhana karma then in disease conditions such as jvara then urustamba urustamba is a disease condition in which again the kapha and medas is being getting uh, dushti and especially the thighs is getting uh, discomfort the stiffness will be there difficulty in movement will be there pain will be there so such condition is called as urustamba in such condition also we have to go for lengthana line of management and kushtinaha kushta again the kapha and medas is the main dosha and dusha which is involved in the kushta so we have to go for the lengthana line of management next again visarpa visarpa is also a type of uh, skin disease uh, there also we have to go for the lengthana that is especially the shodhanas we have to go for in this uh, skin diseases so we have to go for the uh, lengthana then vidradi that is the abscess uh, the pus formations will be there uh, in such conditions also we have to drain it out or we have to go for the shodhana karmas and other managements we have to go so in such conditions lengthana is indicated then pliha diseases of the plane shira kantha akshiroginaha that is the disease Diseases of Shira, Kanta and Akshi that is the diseases of head, throat and eyes. In such conditions we have to go for the 
lankana then sthulamsha those people who are obese in such conditions we have to do the lankana karma so these are the general indications which are mentioned for the lankana in such conditions we have to go for the lankana and other than that shishiretu aparan api and all the people have to go for lankana or uh, it is indicated during the shishira ruto as it has been mentioned in the grishma ruto all the people are advocated or indicated for the brahmana karma similarly here shishira ruto all the persons bala will be more and uh, the physical strength will be more so thus in shishira ruto all the persons can undergo the lankana karma so this is the general indication for the lankana that is uh, the when the person is having been afflicted with kapha dosha or medo dushti or the person is uh, sthula in such all conditions we can go for the lankana and the it has been told that lankana is of two types that is uh, shodhana and shamana next moving with the indication of shodhana and shamana types of lankana in which condition uh, already the indication for lankana has been mentioned so next is in which condition we have to go for the shodhana type of lankana and in which type we have to go for or in which condition we have to go for the shamana type of lankana तत्र संशोधन स्थौल्य बल पित्त कफादिका आमदोष ज्वर छर्तिरतिसार हृदाम विबंध गौरव उद्गार हृल्लासादिरातुरा मध्य स्थौल्यादिका प्राय पूर्व पाचन दीपन एमेरार्ता हीन स्थौल्य बलादिका क्षुत्रृष्ण निग्रहे दोषे आर्ता मध्य बलैर्दृढ़ा समीरण आतपायासे किमुता अल्पबलैर्ना सो द इंडिकेशन आ संशोधन स्थौल्य बल पित्त कभादिका आमदोष ज्वर छर्दी अतिसार हृदाम विबंध गौरव उद्गार हृल्लासादिभि आतुरा मध्य स्थौल्यादिका प्राय पूर्व पाजन दीपन एव आम आर्ता हीन स्थौल्य बलादिका क्षुत् तृष्णा निग्रहे दोषे तो आर्ता मध्य बल दृढ़ा समीरण आतप आयासे किमुत अल्प बल नर सो द इंडिकेशन आफ शोधना टाइप ऑफ लंखना इज बी टोल शोधना टाइप ऑफ लंखना इंक्लूड द शोधन कर्म संशोधना दट इज निरूह बस्ति दमन विरेचन नस्य एंड रक्त मोक्षण Uh, so uh, the sthaulya that is the person who are very obese in such people then the person who is very balavan then pitta kapha adikan in conditions in which the pitta and uh, kapha doshas are very much aggravated ama dosha that is in ama avastha then jwara that is uh, in uh, disease conditions then chardi atisara that is diarrhea hridamehi that is the person who is having the heart diseases vibandha that is in constipation condition gaurava when the person is having the feeling of heaviness very much then udgara excess of belching hrillasadibhi aduran and the person who or the patient who is having more of hrillasa that is nausea so in all these conditions we have to go for the uh, shodhana type of lankana that is different shodhanas are mentioned or the different sho uh, shodhana types of lankanas are mentioned so these type of uh, lankanas has to be uh, administered in all these conditions next is madhya sthaulyadigan prayah ebhireva amehi artan purvam pajana deepanehi so if the patient is balavan and all those diseases mentioned then we have to go for the shodhana type of lankana and all these diseases already mentioned diseases such as uh, jwara atisara chardi hridamaya such all disease conditions but the patient is not that much balavan he is madhyama bala then in such conditions we have to go for the pachana deepana first then we have to go for the shodhana if needed so madhya balavan or madhyama bala patient is there then if uh, all the already mentioned diseases are also there we have to go for the pachana and the pana and then if needed then we can go for the shodhana karma and heena sthaulya baladikan doshehi tuartan balaihi dridan kshut 
trishna nigrahehi and if the doshas are balavan but the patient is heena bala or the patient is not that much balavan but doshas are balavan then in such conditions we have to go for the kshut trishna nigraha that is kshut pipasa or kshut trishna nigraha we have to go that is controlling uh, the hunger and thirst or undergoing fasting has to be done that is when the patient is not balavan but the doshas are balavan we have to go for the kshut trishna nigraha so when the uh, diseases are of madhyama bala and if the rogi is also of madhyama bala then we have to go for the deepana pajana and when the rogi is uh, heena bala or alpa bala and the doshas are balavan then we have to go for the kshut trishna nigraha and all the uh, doshas as well as the rogi is of alpa bala then we have to go for the samirana atapa and ayasa that is uh, the other shamana type of phalangana uh, has to be administered that is samirana atapa and ayasa so in general when the patient as well as the disease that is the roga and rogi is balavan then we have to go for the shodhana line of lankana or shodhana line of management and when it is of madhyama bala then we have to go for the pachana and deepana and when it is heena bala or madhyama bala again that is so uh, when the rogi is heena bala and roga is balavan then we have to go for the kshut and trishna and uh, then if it is uh, both the person is very uh, low or uh, alpa bala then in such conditions we have to go for the samirana atapa and ayasa so these were the indications for uh, brahmana and lankana then न ब्रह्मयेद लंखनीयान ब्रह्म्यास्तु मृदु लंखयेद युक्त्या वा देशकालादि बलस्तान उपाचरेत न ब्रह्मयेद लंखनीयान ब्रह्म्यास्तु मृदु लंखयेद युक्त्या वा देशकालादि बलतः तान उपाचरेत सो जनरल कॉट फॉर ब्रह्मण एंड लंखन इज बीइंग मेंशन दैट इज न ब्रह्मयेद लंखनीयान द पीपल हु आर are to be uh, brahmana or uh, those people who has to be administered with the uh, lankhana such people should not be given the brahmana therapy that is the person who is indicated for lankhana karma should not be administered with the brahmana because of this over saturation or because of the over nourishment that people or that person is indicated for the lankhana karma so such person should not be undergoing the brahmana karma and brahmyas to mrudu lankhayet and but the person who is to be brahmana or he has to be administered with the brahmana karma he can go for the lankhana karma it is not uh, much problem like if we are going for the shamana line of uh, lankhana or shamana type of lankhana it may not cause much problem or even shodhanas also it may not be uh, much problem but the pe people who are indicated for lankhana should not be managed or should not be administered with brahmana karma but the person who is indicated for brahmana can be managed with lankhana also and yuktya va desha kaladi balataha tan upacharet and whatever we are administering whether it is brahmana or lankhana we have to uh, do it on based on, on our yukti based on the desha kala and bala so in which desha that person is residing in which kala the patient has come or which uh, management has to be administered and based on the bala of the patient as well as the bala of the dosha which is causing the disease or the severity of the disease has to be taken into consideration and based on these three factors that is desha kala and bala we have to administer brahmana or lankana Today we have completed a portion of 14th chapter of Ashtanga Hridaya Sutra Sthana and will be continuing with the same chapter in the upcoming videos. For more updates make sure you subscribe the channel and follow the Instagram account. Thank you. See you in the next video. Till then. Bye.